hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and as usual i am so so excited to have you here today if you're new here karibu sana make sure you subscribe make sure you watch all other videos so that you know what we do and what we talk about in this channel if you don't know what academic writing is if you don't know what uh, is involved in academic writing kindly check my previous videos so that you can catch up so uh guys in today's video we are going to do a tutorial and i'm going to be showing you guys how to reference and to cite a website i know i have done a referencing video before but the referencing video i did was on google scholar now the difference is uh when you cite a website you have to like give an external link i'm going to be showing you how to convert that external link into a reference maybe into an apa mla format depending on the style that you're using to do your paper so if you're a beginner if you don't know how to cite a reference i suggest you take a paper and a pen and i'm going to guide you through it so guys uh, what you're looking at right now is a paper that i did that required me to cite uh, my websites uh you know sometimes uh the client wants you to give like a link that will give that will take them directly to where you acquired the information and i'm also going to be showing you guys uh how you decide which website to use and which one not to use because not all websites on the internet are acceptable are accepted as scholarly sources so i'm going to be showing you the website that you use and how to convert that link into a reference okay uh, so guys uh what you're looking at is a paper that i did one one touch paper and you can see uh the title is cystic fibrosis that this is like a nursing paper what i want us to concentrate <coughs> to concentrate on is how i did it okay is how i got the website so uh let's i'm going to skip to the part where uh, my references are so let's just skip uh the content parts and go to the references i want us to look at the references so guys the first thing that you notice is there are links so there's this link here the link there in blue so these are the links so this is th this is what is required when you're asked to give a website in an external link in short the client wants wants you to give them a link that will directly take them to the website that you acquired information from so now guys uh as you can see let's look at the first reference the first reference you can see it's dot i want you to look at dot info dot info dot nhif government then the second the second one also has dot nhs nhs is a government department and then there's dot dot there's also this one dot n i h dot government what i want you guys to note there is the dot government dot government dot government so what that means is you're supposed to acquire uh, information from a website either it's a dot government or it's a dot organization or it's a dot education what i'm saying is you're not supposed to cite uh, a website that is dot com i know there's a lot of dot coms on the internet then there's blogs you're not supposed to cite or reference blogs you're supposed to use a credible source and a credible source in this case is dot government dot organizations you know sometimes you can use websites like for example you can use the website of cdc cdc is a government website you can use world health organization you can use world economic forum so those are the types of website i know you're getting what i'm saying those are the types of website that you're supposed to cite here as you can see there is nothing in my link that says dot com okay there's also sometimes you can use uh you can acquire information uh from articles uh written by things like uh you can use articles from CNN that is acceptable you can use articles from Forbes you can use you use such articles from acceptable sources but you never use a blog or a dot com so guys uh, that is what I want to do first to understand so now uh, this is the link when I, I was acquiring information about cystic fibrosis I used this link here so I'm going to highlight so this is the link in blue so this is the link that was from the internet but where did i get this part this part that is citing in apa format because the format of this paper is apa so this is what i want to show you guys here today where you can acquire a formatted where you can format your link into either apa or 
MLA. So the first part that I wanted you to get is the type of websites that are acceptable in academic writing. So I hope you have gotten that part. And I want us now to move on uh, so that I can show you how I acquired that part. But before I go there, let me go to another... Um, uh, so this is another... Uh, for example, this is another paper that I did. And this paper was on... Let's see. This paper is on impact of COVID-19 on global supply chain. Now this one also required me to use uh, credible websites and to give like direct links to direct information. So I want us to skip to the references parts. I want us to see the type of websites that I use. Now this one. See the website that I used here was on .ifc.org. .org is like organization. The second one was from World Economic Forum and the third one was from uh, IEE is an organization okay so there's no other that i'm using dot com dot dot net or dot blog uh you can see uh, another one here there's still another one this one is on well let's see <coughs> this one is on uh hyperemesis gravida room okay this is a, a nursing paper so it was this is a condition i want us to concentrate on the references the website that i used so the first website i used here is rare disease dot organization then there's also this one dot ncbi dot so it's a dot government okay so i want you to get that point the website that you're going to use matters you don't just use dot com or dot blog dot any organization because it is not credible now the part i want you to show you guys how i acquired this references so the difference between uh what i'm going to show you today and google scholar is that let me show you a paper I've referenced using Google Scholar. Uh, this paper here. Let's see the references uh, for Google Scholar. So you, you see the references for Google Scholar, there's no external link. It's just uh, it's just uh, some articles and they're out there. So that is the big difference. And guys, let me show you exactly how to do this. So guys, I use this website right here. It's called... Uh, cite this for me. So this web websites, all you have to do is copy the link of the website uh, where you're acquiring information, paste it in this website, and this website is going to, uh, it's going to format it for you, whether it's Harvard, APA, or MLA format. So all you have to do is uh, go to your browser and search cite this for me. It's going, it's like right there. So this is the website that I use to cite all external links. So guys, uh, let's go back to like uh, this question here, this paper here on impact of COVID-19 on global supply chain. And when we skip to the reference parts, you're going to see uh, that I cited uh, the, huh, I cited IFC.organization, I cited uh, World Economic Forum and IEE, all are organization, are, the, are government departments. So let's go back to my site. So I search here, cite this for me, and uh, let's let's just go directly to the website. I'm going to just click there. So guys, uh, please bear with my internet connection. It's a bit weak today, uh, but uh, let's see. Let's just wait for it to load. So this website is going to cite for you depending on the type uh uh, the formatting style that your paper is whether it's APA whether it's MLA And you don't have to do anything. You just have to like paste a link there So this is the website. This is how it looks like just like this for me and it's going to bring you here So you can see my bibliography is full of uh, every time I want to uh, to, to Cite a website. I just come here so what you're going to do is you can see here the citation style. If you want to cite in ML, you're just going to click this uh, arrow facing downwards and you can just click MLA. So let's just use APA for my example. All you have to do here is tap add new reference. There. So when you say add new reference, uh, you can see here they have the option of citing a website. If you want to cite a journal, a book or more, you can try. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to cite 
a website which is like an external link so guys all you have to do here is a uh, tap on website and then uh, there are two options so you can either enter a url that is the link of the website where you've acquired information or you can enter the keywords and this website is going to search it for you so in this case i want us to go uh so when i was doing this paper i came to my browser and i want you guys to see exactly how i did it so the topic was impact of covid19 on global supply chain so all i did is like i came here and i said uh impact of covid19 on global supply chain such now guys you see the first uh the first thing that appears here is what i used in my reference you can see the world economic forum is like the top one then there's this one this uh uh this this oxford business group dot com so this is what i was talking about you cannot use this one now because it's like a dot com so in academic writing that is not a credible source so there's also this one blog so this is another thing i told you, you cannot use this one there's also this one dot org so you guys you can see this ifc dot organization if we go back to my uh references you can see that i used that one uh where is it uh i used the dot i dot ifc dot organization i also used the first one which is world economic forum you can see the ones that i'm skipping you cannot use um you cannot use let's go let's go uh you cannot use this one dot com here you cannot use dot com but there's also this one iee explore dot organization guys you can see this was my third reference so what i did is i acquired information from here so if i want to use this as my information uh i can just open link in new tab showing you guys how i got that information and you can see the ongoing impact of COVID-19 on global supply chains. Let's go back to the question. So guys, see this is the paper that I did. And I want to place emphasis on the fact that once you get a question on academic writing, you don't acquire information from like your head. You search it from the internet and paraphrase. And then again, I want to emphasize on the importance of knowing how to paraphrase. Because you see the question, impact of COVID-19 on global supply chain. So to acquire this impact, I went like, this is the website where I acquired everything. And you can see the title is the ongoing impact of COVID-19 on global supply chains. And if you read this article, you're going to get all those impacts. So I acquired this information here so all i did guys is come back to my paper and paraphrase what was on the internet so if i open another link if i open so this is my first source so if i open another link here uh the second source so i did not use the dot com one i skipped to uh this one so if i open this one i'm going to get the same thing all i have to do is like paraphrase this part this part put it together and that's it so uh how did i get uh to this point of references of referencing this link to make it an apa or an mla so huh so this is it so guys uh this is the world economic forum which is this website so guys uh what all you have to do is come here at the top where you get the link to this website it's just it's just right here all you have to do is say copy and then we are going to go back to our website we are going to go back to our website and say paste okay go to our website and say paste and then we're going to click search and we are going to wait for the website to search see guys it says the ongoing impact of COVID-19 on global supply chain so all we had to do is place a link and it searched for us and you can see uh, the exact title is this so the exact title just comes here on this search all you have to do now is say site so 
here is what we found so we see the article title is the ongoing impact of COVID-19 we can see the title is World Economic Forum and then there is the URL so we have to say continue it's a really simple process so once we say continue, the website is going to ask you whether you need to add any other information. So for example, if we go back to this website, we're going to see that uh, it has been published by the World Economic Forum. So there's like uh, the author, there's no like particular author who has written this article. So sometimes it could be from like a government organization, but when you come here, you're going to find like there's an author for example there's someone named uh like uh let's give them a random name like ken smith someone is an article here has written this article but in this case we don't have an author okay so we're going to leave that part blank but if we had an author all you could all you're supposed to do is like uh write the name like sam there and then last name ken but since we don't have an author, we're not going to write that. But if your article has an author, you can just go ahead and write it. So year published. So we have to go back. Every article has an year in which it was published. So for example, in this article here, it has uh, 22nd June 2020. So we're just going to come here and make a slight adjustment. Uh, we're going to uh, say the year is 20. 20 and then there's nothing else guys like that is all and then we're just going to say complete citation Let's wait for the ad uh, for the website to finish citing and then boom there the ongoing impact of COVID-19 on global supply chains so it has referenced for you this is APA format remember if you wanted your citation to be in MLA you just have like uh, uh, selected the MLA part now we have our citation so guys this is what I copied so all you have to do here is say copy citation and then you're going to just to, to come to your uh, paper and you're going to say paste so I just did that and I came here and I said paste and you can see it is right here this one this one the second one there so guys it is really just that simple i hope you have followed everything that i've said also when you're done don't forget to include an in-text citation of the same so in-text citations will come uh within the inside the document so for example let's find places where i have cited the world economic forum so guys uh when you have an author maybe if we had an author for this article the author the name of the author obviously in apa format would have come like before this the ongoing before the title so if the author was let's say ken and it is 2021 i would have gone to my document and cited ken 2021 just anywhere within the document but since there was no author it was just like the whole organization we're just going to come and take world economic forum and cite it as it is so let's find uh, somewhere I've cited there guys you can see here this part I'm going to highlight it for you you can see I have used uh, I've cited World Economic Forum there so like uh, in-text citation just mean that uh, whatever you have referenced just make sure you mention it somewhere within the, the document so you can see some parts I've used a uh, World Economic Forum World Economic Forum there's also this part that I've cited uh, IFC I have cited here IEE I've cited this one here so you cite according to your references so that is what I wanted to show you guys for today because I feel like it's really important that you know that because you don't always use Google Scholar sometimes uh, they require you to give the exact website and the exact link where you acquire the information and I believe that is what I have done for today so guys i hope you have understood everything that i've said and if you have any 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 tutorial that you want me to do if you have any question just make sure you comment in the comment section below and i will be doing tutorials 
every time so just make sure that uh you let me know any tutorial that you want me to do guys i'm going to be teaching you right here in this channel so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like but don't forget to share so and in case you are wondering where i got this information to fill up this content to do this paper uh, this paper was a four page this was four pages that i did and if you're wondering where I got all this information from, I have already shown you. All I do is go to the internet, uh, search, and I acquire that information. I just paraphrase. There is nothing that I get from my head, okay? So it's really that simple. So guys, I am going to see you in my next video. I'm going to be uploading tutorials. Just let me know what tutorial you want me to make. I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe. Bye-bye.